What's up YouTube in this video? I'm going to show you how to set up a reverse proxy server before I show you how to do it. Let's talk about what a reverse proxy server is. So there's a great explanation by Cloudflare. I'll have that linked in the description, but it says here a reverse proxy is a server that sits in front of a web browser and forwards client web browser requests to the web server. Reverse proxies are typically implemented to help increase security, performance and re reliability. Now, to, in order to understand a reverse proxy server, let's understand a forward proxy or just a proxy server. So a forward proxy, often called a proxy server, a proxy or a proxy server, is a server that sits in front of a group of client machines. When those computers make a request to sites and, the service, and services on the internet, the proxy server intercepts those requests and then communicates with the web servers on behalf of those clients, like a middleman. So this drawing is perfect. You have users here. They're going to access whatever um, server through a forward proxy. So like the forward proxy is like the representative of the user devices, right? Now there's three main benefits to a forward proxy. The first is to avoid state or institutional browsing restrictions. Some government schools and other organizations use firewall to give their users access to limited versions of the internet. A forward proxy can be used to get around these restrictions as they let the user connect to a proxy rather than directly to the site they're visiting. Second, it's also to block access to certain content. And the most important reason is to protect um, user's identity, right? Instead of your IP address being revealed, it will be the proxy server's address that is revealed. But we're here to talk about a reverse proxy. A reverse proxy is a server that sits in front of one or more web servers, intercepting requests from client. So in order to access the server, you have to go through the reverse proxy. I have a... Um, a drawing here, a diagram here. So the user makes a request. The reverse proxy will intercept that request. We're gonna hope we're gonna do it on Cloudflare, and then the and then the reverse proxy will, if it decides to forward the request, will forward the request to the web server. The web server returns a response to Cloudflare, and then Cloudflare gives the response back to the user, right? And there's a couple advantages to this, right? There's uh, a couple important reasons to this, but let's read this real quick. It says, this is different from a forward proxy where the proxy sits in front of the clients. With a reverse proxy, when a client sends a request to the origin server of a website, those requests are intercepted at the network edge by a reverse proxy server. The reverse proxy will then send requests and receive responses from the origin server. Here's the reason why we need to have a reverse proxy server. First, load balancing, right? If you plan on building a website that's going to get a lot, a lot of traffic, then you have to have a reverse proxy. A popular website that gets millions of users every day may not be able to handle all the incoming site traffic with a single origin server. Instead, the site can be distributed among a pool of different servers, all handling requests for the same site. The most important one, in my opinion, is protection from attacks. If you guys have seen my videos from before, you know all the stories I've shared about a startup I was building that got DDoS to smithereens. And one of the things that we didn't have set up was a proxy, a reverse proxy. And it helps. And I'm going to show you how you can set that up. Um, global server load balancing, caching, and SSL encryption, right? So now we know the benefits of a reverse proxy server. Let's set it up. My tool of choice, my platform provider of choice is Cloudflare. They just make it very, very simple. And today we're going to set up a reverse proxy server for my wife's blog. So all I have to do is I go on the site. I'll link it down in the description below. Now I have to add my site. So I'm going to do hey, torontofoodie.com. Click continue. Right. And they have different plans. I'm going to for the free 99. Click continue here. So, all right, it tells you to review my DNS records. So make sure your DNS records are good. I'm obviously going to cover these, cover this part out. So just click continue. Um, and then it's going to ask you to change your name server. So this is this is what you're going to do. You're going to go on the play on the site that you bought your domain, whether it be Vercel or Google domains or wherever it is that you bought your domain. And essentially what you're going to do is you're going to update your name server. Now for every provider, the, the way you get to that part of um, the settings in that website might be different. You could just simply Google it, but I'm going to show you how I do it on Google domains. Again, all this stuff will be covered because I don't know what you sneaky guys could do with this type of information. So I'm going to go to Google domains and then I'm going to enter custom name server, right? And then I'm going to click copy here, paste this, click copy here, 
paste this. I'm going to click Save, right? So name servers have been saved. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to check name servers now. So I'm just going to click on Continue. And I'm going to click Get Started. So I'm going to say Save to this. Uh, redirect all requests. Yes, always want it to be HTTPS. Uh, speed up page load times for visiting by applying. I don't know what that is, but we'll hit save. That sounds good. And we'll hit finish. A few moments later. Our site is now protected via a reverse proxy. Now, there is one thing that you have to do, because if I go on my wife's blog now, you're going to see this uh, error. So what you're going to do is you're going to go on the tab, go on SSL TS TLS. And then instead of flexible, you're going to have fully encrypt. You're going to click on full here. So yes, you do have to tell, turn on SS, SSL TLS recommender. And then once you turn that on, site is back live. Now, here is one of the cool features I was talking about. Let's say your site starts to get DDoSed, like you're getting a lot of heavy traffic. Some of the traffic might be spammed. So what you do is you're going to turn on this toggle right here under attack mode. And now it says under attack mode is now active, right? So when I go on my wife's site and I hit refresh, Guess what it's going to do? It's going to verify that I'm a human. Then it's going to give me access to the site, right? So just adding this simple feature to your web applications, to your Next.js has so many benefits. And this is why deploying on Vercel is cool. I'm not the, I'm not for my own custom VPS and all that stuff. Too much time. Uh, it's, and it's not a skill issue. Maybe it is. But it is so important to have a reverse proxy server. And Cloudflare just makes it very, very easy chef's kiss but that's pretty much it for this video guys let me know if you enjoyed it uh let me know if you want more videos like this make sure to like comment subscribe hit the notification bell and i will see you in the next video peace